people are better left alone. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today I'll be playing some Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. It's going to quickly go through the in game settings that I'm using. So, playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 at 120 hertz, using NVIDIA Deep Learning Super Sampling, so DLSS as we all know it by. And I'm using that at the quality preset. Uh, scaling is fixed, so it doesn't really change from whatever resolution you've selected. Um, so there's no dynamic res scaling going on. I think you've got dynamic um, DLSS now, so maybe that just stops that from happening. I'm using the unobtainium settings. Now, the unobtainium settings are extra settings for the game. You have to enter a command line, unlock settings uh, to activate this or just to unlock it, should I say. And it really, really does push the graphics beyond uh, the ultra settings that you normally get. Um, so I was requested to test this out with these settings and I've already given my thoughts on this. I don't think we have any, we don't have the hardware at the moment to push 60 FPS with, with these settings. Of course, this is definitely a setting for future hardware. Um, but you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful looking game. So why not just enjoy the visual feast? Um, now I, I did actually recently water cool my uh, RAM. So I had a G skill 48 gigabyte DDR5 kit. Comes out the box 7200 megahertz. I was able to get it to 8400 megahertz um, where I was comfortable. Uh, CL40 um, with the stock um, heat sink with the, of course, the Asus Apex fan blowing on it. Help cool it down. Um, but still, temps would still reach like 58 degrees. And we all know with DDR5, it starts to produce errors if it gets too hot. Now, 58 is fine. Um, you're just on the kind of the limit of when errors can start creeping in. Um, so, ended up getting a water block. And I was able to push things to 8600 megahertz. The extra voltage it takes to get there is pretty insane. And I was able to drop down to CL38. So pretty happy with that my um read and write speed and latency is best i've ever seen and uh i've actually added the uh ram temperature to my on-screen display so to your left hand side you can see nvidia um you can see msi afterburner sorry and i've added uh the ddr5 temperatures for both sticks you can see right now i'm in the low 30s just to kind of show off the, the results in, in a gaming type workload, of course you can push things if you wanted to in like a, a productivity workload like editing or things like that. The most I've seen it get to is 47 degrees. Um, so it really, really does do a decent job. It's not the best uh, RAM cooling method out there. There's definitely better, but um, for a double-sided DDR5, and you only want two sticks cooled, um, this is a decent option. But yeah, as you can see, performance is uh, it's not that great. When you're in the dense forest, it's uh, it's not 60, of course, but it's still pretty playable. I'm going to call my Ikron and uh, take to the sky in a moment, just so you guys can have a, a better look of the jungle. Can hear you. Where did you land? Here you are. I haven't played this game in a while, so. Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised by this game. I really enjoyed it. Somewhat repetitive with some of the some of the missions, but what game isn't realistically? Um, it's a decent game for sure. And for. I believe the first game from the Avatar franchise, they've done a really, really good job. The scale of the game is what amazes me the most, just how high you can go. Let's try to look for some bad guys. I've pretty much done all the missions, got rid of all of the, uh, the mining operations, all of the gas extraction operations, all of these things I've already dealt with, so it's not 
too many bad guys knocking them out, but there should still be some more. So the game does use ray tracing, of course. And um, you're going to need something that can really handle ray tracing to use unobtainium settings because it really does tank FPS. It's actually doing not too bad at the moment, but this game has very, very demanding areas. For me, I believe um, the plain lands or the grasslands, whatever they call it, is one of the most demanding areas. I'm not too sure if it's the flora that's and like the tall grass that really tanks FPS, but that area is pretty bad. I got some uh, RDA up here, may as well take them out. Don't know what they're doing. Game uses a lot of system RAM as well. Almost used 16 gigabytes of my 48 gigabyte capacity. So I'm not struggling for RAM or nothing, but it does use quite a bit. RAM starting to heat up now, getting up to 36 degrees, but that's nothing. Take this one out as well. Mad of bullets. I've still got arrows though. So if you do these little missions, you basically gain favor for the surrounding clan and then you can basically get stuff for free. Okay, I still got some shotgun bullets. Go back down to the ground now, it's starting to get pretty foggy. You got it. Okay. Go looking for some stuff to kill. Hopefully run into an enemy party. Well, I heard what sounded like gunfire in the distance. Maybe I was wrong. Even the audio on this game is pretty awesome. I think, uh, was it Alex Vitalia from Digital Foundry? Showing you that they use some kind of ray traced audio. Or some kind of 3D sound and... Depending on where you are, it really does matter. Okay, got one of these hurt. It's okay. I won't hurt you. So you basically just gotta pull this out, this wounded it's creature. Be all right. Go on, you're free. I'm going to follow these tracks, see if they lead me to any RDA. Some more Navi natives. Who is there? The Sarentu and Aranahe are friends. I noticed the Tarsu sapling near here earlier, if you want to see it. Honestly, I don't need to go to any more saplings because I've got I've pretty much maxed out my character. So I've got like nine attribute points that I can't even use. So I would imagine they've got DLC in mind or, or what would be the point of you in allowing you to do this. So hopefully they bring out some DLC soon because there's definitely, uh, they definitely left the game with that opportunity to do that. You can actually ride these as well. So I'm going to try and creep up on this and uh, try and get on it. You're okay, don't worry. That's it. Oh, he ran away. Damn it. <coughs> you can usually get on them. Yeah, there you go. They're pretty quick. So this, the uh, Ikran, I think they're the only two mounts you can ride in the game. You can't use any of the RDA vehicles like the mechs or anything like that. 
But that would have been cool if you could. Yeah, I'm just looking at the frame rate. It's actually doing a lot better than I remember. Uh, I don't know if it's got anything to do with the recent upgrades I've made, but I don't see a game what's so GPU heavy being CPU bound, so I'm not too sure where the extra performance is coming from. I just don't remember it playing this well with unobtainium settings. But yeah, what a gorgeous game. Looks absolutely staggering. Staggering. Let's get off of this now. It's one of the few games that look equally as good in the night time as it does in the day. Because of all of the bioluminous um, luminous from pretty much everything in the game. Everything that lives, everything, all the creatures have it. So night time in this game is pretty spectacular. Just... Uh, I may have to fast travel to a different area though because I want to take down some more enemies and you don't really get too many in the jungle, if I'm honest. So I'm just going to fast travel now to what I would consider a more demanding area. So he will do. I don't know if this game uses... Um, direct storage, but um, I've got pretty fast NVMe SSDs, so they're all PCIe Gen 4, 73, 100 megabytes per second read, and 7000 write, I think, so pretty fast. As you can see, with all the moving flora of foliage, it really does tank FPS, so for me, these, this is the most demanding area, and regularly dropping down into the, the mid-40s. I'm just going to walk around for a bit. Hopefully I can walk, run into an enemy party. See if I've got some alternative bullets for this. Yeah. But yeah, down into the 30s there, as you can see. So the game is just absolutely brutal when it comes to um, the demands it has. But you probably won't find a better a flora vegetation and uh, fauna system this game has such a rich variety as well. Um, they've done a great job. Must have taken a lot of time for, for the team to, to make all of this because everything is... I would say they've got a lot of stuff from the, the movie, but I think they've added a few as well. And the game doesn't really deviate too much from outside what, what's canon, I would say, because all the creatures we've seen, they're all from what you've seen in the films. I haven't seen anything that hasn't been in any of the films. Maybe part of the licensing agreement to make the game is that you can't just go wild with and do whatever you want. Don't know if these are predators or not. I don't know if they're uh, carnivorous. They don't look carnivorous. I'm just going to leave them alone. But yeah, the game's definitely not a walking simulator. This is just because I've done everything. I put quite a few hours into this. I'm just looking for some bad guys, really. Alright, coming up to a camp. That's what the, the kites are. They usually lead you to, to other bases. I didn't even realize there was a horse there sleeping. I'm going to get back on my ick run and see if I can find any bad guys from the sky. It may actually be worth waiting till morning. I'm going to do that first, actually. So, max temperature for the Stick 2, uh, DDR5 Stick 2 is 37 degrees. I don't know why, but one stick gets warmer than the other. I don't know if it's because it's closer to the CPU. Maybe that's the reason. I'm not too sure. Strike, then think. Okay. Usually when you go next to the fire, you can sit down and wait. I haven't played this game in a while, but surely I haven't forgotten everything. I think when you go to the fire, you can 
You can wait till morning. Yeah, you can pass the time. The problem with playing so many games, you, for, you forget a lot of things. Okay, morning now. Let's call my ick run again. Let's go and look for some trouble. I think I'm too close to the base. Or oh, he's already on the floor. Yeah, he's already over here. Down to 33 FPS, just the sheer amount of vegetation has just brought the RTX 1490 to its knees. So just goes to show you guys, as, as powerful as this GPU is, or as powerful as this system is, there's always a game that can bring it bring it down or just uh, humble it, should we say. So uh, I'm always looking for my next upgrade, and that would be the RTX 5090. If it comes out at the end of the year, that would be great. If it doesn't, um, that's fine. It just gives me more time to play with my 1490, but definitely be getting one of those when they came out, when it, when it comes out, and I'll definitely be testing this as in my top 10, just to see if we really do get that possible 60 to 70 FPS uplift. That's rumored. I don't believe it. I'll have to believe that when I see it, but you know, I remain optimistic. 1490 was a pretty big jump though from the 1390. So if we can get something similar to that, I'll be actually pretty happy. Loads of animals. Can't see any. Can't see any bad guys yet, though. And that's what I'm looking for. They're usually around places like this. They don't show up on the map, so you can't just mark them. Obviously, places where they're doing excavation and they're pumping oil and stuff. If you haven't done them, then yeah, there will always be bad guys there. But because I've cleaned those those guys out, I have to kind of rely on running into enemies just on the open plane. And as you can see, they're kind of far and few in between. But just look how open this game is. It's insane. Ubisoft games do generally have massive maps, but this one, I think the only other game that I've seen bigger probably is Assassin's Creed Odyssey, that game. It was just, I think it was too big, to be honest. Okay, there's got to be some bad guys somewhere. I usually run into them every now and then. Thought I heard what sounded like a helicopter, but could be wrong. Yeah, I can hear a helicopter. There it is. But I'm not too bothered about the ones in the sky. It's the ones on the ground that I want to get into it with. But you guys are in range, so I may as well take you out. These guys always come in pairs. I meant to take down these little things, these weather balloons. They kind of map the area for natural resources, but honestly, because I've I've done everything, it's not really necessary. Okay. Still no more RDA. That's disappointing. They usually run around in like these huge mechs and there's one or two soldiers that accompany them. These little like scouting parties, but nothing around today. So yeah, when you're in the air, you get decent performance, as you can see, getting over 60 quite comfortably. But there are areas that the game just punishes your system. So stick to, just creeping up to 38 degrees now. Obviously, not an issue at all. I'm just kind of reporting on the, you know, the progression of the heat. But honestly, with the voltage I'm using without water cooling, it would be impossible to run these clocks. It takes a lot of voltage to, to get to 8600 megahertz from what I've seen.
you don't never generally see RDA so close to bases, so I'm probably looking in the wrong place for these guys. If there's anyone down here. Another base. Base is everywhere. I don't think I've explored this area. There's some uh, carnivorous animals I can take down at least. Let's use a shotgun for these guys. There it is. Near in the background. durable one shot was enough they're weird as well because they can jump and they can kind of hover they kind of got wings almost they can cover quite a lot of ground so it's strange though in this area performance is actually pretty good Even, even though it looks equally as good, it still performs considerably better than the plate, the grasslands I was at a moment ago. This goes to show you that um, there are some areas that perform good and there's some areas that perform pretty bad. Okay, who else is around? These guys, I'm not really interested in hunting any herbivores, only the predators. Let's go deeper into the woods. What the hell is this thing? I haven't seen one of these before. Yeah, this is new. Never seen one of these before. Even though I've played like several, several hours of this game. This is the first time I've seen this. What is this? Oh well, it doesn't seem to be causing me any harm, so I'm not going to try and attack it. But it looks pretty spectacular. Letting off this kind of weird mist. Almost as if you've got plants growing on it. Huge though. Alright, I'll leave that be. Yeah, that's insane. I thought I saw everything this game had to offer. And there's still some stuff I haven't seen. Okay, I'm still hunting RDA by the way. I just walking around casually you do sometimes hear them in the background shooting at wildlife and then you can kind of get involved in the fight and i'm hoping that's what's going to happen but yeah for the most part when you're in the kind of foresty region yeah i can hear rda now finally found some about time. Alright, let's get out my uh get out my assault rifle. They're around here somewhere. Here they are. Let's attack them from above. 
I'm just here to kill some Navi. Here yeah. Well, I got something for you. Come on, is this surely it's not just you two? Oh, that's disappointing. There's usually a lot more, but it was just a small little party of them. Hopefully, there'll be some more nearby. Yeah, so it seems when you're close to water as well, that kind of tanks FPS too. Yeah, what a game. In terms of visually, it's pretty pretty stunning. So, temperatures seem to max out at around 38 because it's even going... Temps are regressing now, so... I guess that is equilibrium. Adding the uh, RAM to my loop, I think it only increased my general temps by about 3 degrees, so it didn't really add too much to the loop, but... Just look how much power this game draws at on obtaining the settings. My, my RTX 1490 Supreme X only has a power limit of 520 watt, but it's pretty much close to maxing that out completely. And as you can see, my clocks are fluctuating because I'm power limited. If I had something like the Asus Strix OC with a 600 watt power limit, or even a Founders Edition, I'd probably be able to maintain higher clocks providing that my temps are in check. Um, but I still think these cars do an amazing job with this stock cooler they had. They're over-engineered because if you believe the rumors, um, Nvidia pretty much switched to TSMC at the last minute. And as a result, it was far more efficient than they expected. And um, they ended up with these over-engineered coolers to our benefit, of course. Um, but I think I'll leave it there for the person who requested this video. Hopefully this answers all your questions and it was useful. Um, but that is pretty much it for me, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.